I love giving Mochi all of the attention and love and care and trying to train him because of the belief that reptiles can't be trained. I think that it's a fascinating process. A lot of people that uh, think that you know reptiles don't have the range of emotions as maybe other species. But I genuinely believe that the more I spend time with him, the more I'm around him, the more you know, kind of love I give to him, uh, he kind of soaks that in and is able to reciprocate that in a weird way. Um, I have trained him so far to come to me when I ask him to, to wait um, for his food, so be patient, and to kiss on command. So, um, kissing was kind of the easiest one to come ask, uh, to come when I asked him to. That took about a month and that was like daily consistent training and uh, my three things are name, whistle, tap. So I call his name a lot, he definitely knows that his name is Mochi. Um, and then whistle, so Mochi, and then I would tap on the ground and I would start with treats obviously, a worm, um, starting close by and then slowly moving back. and. Now, it's really interesting, I've learned that he can come to just his name or just when I wave. And then to wave, that one was definitely the hardest um, because, you know, their natural instinct is just to go for a moving bug when they see it. But I just wanted to see if it would work and after about two months that worked. I get a lot of questions about, you know, is it hard to take care of a bearded dragon? And I would say that they definitely need as much attention and care as a regular, you know, like dog or cat. But once you get the basics down, it gets a lot easier to handle and manage. Um, so I had to do a lot of research about proper lighting in their vivarium. He has a UVB light that he needs for 10 to 14 hours a day. And then he has a heat lamp on 24 seven. Um, and then it's a research about what the best vegetables and bugs are to feed them. And um, once you get those basics down, it gets a lot easier. And then I take him out for about an hour to a day just to bond and play and train. Um, I love how much he loves blueberries. In fact, I saved some blueberries so I could have him eat one on camera. Um, he will go crazy for blueberries. It's so fun when you roll them. And there you go. <laughs> He, he's so chill. Like I have a little dog, JJ, she's a Chewini, and you would think like they might get scared. Mochi will cuddle with JJ. Like he has such a loving and chill personality. So just in general, uh, you know, learning more about him and then we cuddle. Uh, so it's really cute. And sometimes when I'm sad, he like nuzzles into my neck and I'm like, don't know if that's just a coincidence, but I like to believe that he genuinely cares for me. I love scaly things. I think they're so fascinating looking. Like, what do you mean this isn't a dinosaur? Yeah, as soon as I saw Mochi in his vivarium at the other home that he was living in, I was just like, I need him. And they were like, please take him because he doesn't get enough attention or love here. So it was kind of meant to be, I think. <laughs>